Hi people, it's Archivist here coming at you with yet another top 5. So E3 is over, however I have no doubt us gamers will continue to talk about it for months to come. We saw a lot of awesome trailers and so choosing the top 5 among them is pretty much impossible. Nevertheless, in this video I will be going through the top 5 games that appeal to me the most. Note that I am only choosing games that have shown actual gameplay. Number 5 I had more or less forgotten about Rainbow Six before this E3. Vegas 2 was a long time ago and it has since been overshadowed by the armada of other tactical shooters. However, the Rainbow Six Siege gameplay trailer has rekindled my interest in the franchise. The tactical multiplayer combined with a strategic destruction system looks to expand the player's options exponentially. The only real pitfall of a game like this is whether or not your teammates are willing to coordinate properly. Number 4 2011's Mortal Kombat was universally praised, so it's a relief to see that Mortal Kombat 10 or X seems to be sticking with what worked. Although while the game does seem familiar, there have been some subtle improvements. For instance, each character now has multiple fighting styles that you can choose before a fight. Furthermore, not only have the graphics improved, but they also appear more stylized. And of course, the blood and gore that has become so synonymous with the series has returned more shocking than ever. Number 3 No Man's Sky is one of the most intriguing titles I've ever seen. It's difficult to compare it to anything else because it's just so unique. From what we have seen so far, it looks as if exploration will be the primary focus. You can fly through space and engage in dogfights, or just walk across planets populated with exotic creatures. The game looks as far from linear as you can get, but could this lack of direction be its undoing? Number 2 The Fable Legends gameplay trailer looks very different from Fable 3, and I personally believe this to be a very good thing indeed. With an emphasis on co-op, players will have to work together to overcome their foes. One player even has the ability to become the villain, whose job it is to set up traps for the heroes. The graphics look to have retained the classic Fable style, but with a few technical improvements that you would expect from next gen. It's number one. Far Cry 4 had two great trailers this E3. The first showcased the shooting mechanics, which look as solid as ever, however it was the second that really interested me. The new villain looks insane, unhinged, nuts, absolutely psychotic. I am certain we will be in for a few tense moments during the Far Cry 4 campaign. Two other notable additions to the series are elephants and small helicopters. Those were the 5 games that made the greatest positive impression on me this E3. Remember that although these are gameplay trailers, they still do not represent the final product. As we know from past experiences, games can undergo a visual downgrade among other things. So what were your favourite games this E3? Let me know in the comments below. As always people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Subscribe to the Archivist 42 channel for gaming top 5s, reviews and more.